Hey, let's take a look at, uh, I've been uh, inundated, now this is very telling, so you can actually tell as much by what someone says as by what they don't say, it's a premise of the ancient Greeks, um, it's also a retroductive tool for figuring things out. Um, I made a video yesterday about um, the LIGO, the laser interferometer actually did not discover gravity waves. And there are only two things that actually happened. There are a lot of people that are lost in the cult of quantum that sent me a lot of vile stuff like, you're just a dirty soul, it's a bleep, a bleep, bleep. You know, um, that's all fine. If you've got nothing to contribute, then, you know, don't say anything. But anyway, I actually did get, I have some contacts that are actually in the scientific community. And uh, they've been actually calling bull BS uh, on this also. And they sent me a lot of really fascinating information. There's been like a flood. Not of like crackpots and conspiracy theory uh, nonsense, a twaddle like that that I have no interest in, but actually uh, true scientists. And uh, they sent me a lot of stuff that I actually hadn't considered. I mean, I knew why it was wrong, because everything is just classical electromagnetism. I mean, here's the facts. Quantum mechanics has given the world nothing. The people that gave the world everything, Faraday, Tesla, James Kirk Maxwell, Oliver Heaviside, and uh, Charles Proteus Steinmetz. These people gave us 100% of the world's electrical grid. Einstein invented nothing. Um, all he has is a theory, and it's still a theory. So let's go over some of the facts. I mean, I got a long list, including tons of links, and I'll post them below. below. Some of these came from Jason Verbs um, and uh, other people. So the alleged gravity waves uh, measured were uh, 1.3 billion light years away, which is a thousand times smaller than the width of atomic nucleus, and stretched over four kilometers. Not to mention the fact that the LIGO uh, was only 26, uh, is only able to uh, calculate uh, by their own emission things that are 26 million light years away. So that their signal only lasted for 20 milliseconds and for one chirp. And during its engineering phase, not even during uh, the scientific testing. Um, this is also, and this is something I didn't consider. Now, these are these uh, scumbags that have actually wasted one billion dollars of the taxpayers' money on this uh, LIGO. They happen to. Oh my God, this is such a coincidence. But it's not a coincidence. They ha their their findings came at exactly the 100-year anniversary of Einstein's uh, publishing of relativity. Ooh, how is that possible? I wonder. Um, after 14 years and billions of taxpayer dollars, nothing uh, came out of LIGO. LIGO found nothing. Enhanced LIGO was set up in 2009. It found nothing. They announced they found nothing in September 2015 and then upgraded their Earth-based system to advanced LIGO, which is supposed to be a, a thousand times more sensitive. Uh, more sensitive uh, within the 26 million years uh, LIGO is rated for. 26 million light years that it's rated for. But what they supposedly discovered was 1.3 billion. So LIGO is rated for, even in, in its advanced stage, 26 million light years sensitivity. But they supposedly found something 1.3 billion light years away. So, mm, yeah, I wonder about that. Um, after 14 years of searching with billion dollar equipment and finding nothing, they had to announce something to keep their budget rolling and the tax dollars uh, pouring in. Oh, and by the way, they announced it at the 100 year anniversary of Einstein's publishing of Relativity, which means that's BS. It's BS. Well, it's a coincidence. No, it's not a coincidence. Not a coincidence at all. When you use a billion taxpayer dollars and uh, you find nothing, over 14 years, you damn well better find something, or at least pretend you find something, otherwise the money is going to dry up and you'll be out of a job. Um, they state, we know LIGO worked because we measured gravitational waves from the merger of binary black holes. Those signals proves black, uh, binary black holes merge. Uh, that's sort of circular reasoning. The signal actually came during the engineering and testing phase of LIGO coming online not during the scientific uh, testing phase. There's a proof for that in the link below. Um, in science, there's something called scientific methodology, which means you need to prove something and uh, make it repeatable before announcing it as fact. So, getting one 20 millisecond uh, chirp 
during engineering test phasing, engineering test phase is not validation of uh, what they claim to have found. So only one tiny short chirp had been detected in the past five months, and that I didn't know. Only one 20 millisecond chirp had been found in the past five months that Advanced LIGO has been running. By the way, there's a, like a billion anomalies, even they admit, like uh, cars on the road, minor earthquakes, seismic events, there's tons and tons of stuff that would actually account for those anomalies, even given the triangulation that they supposedly did over the three different facilities. So, um, The original prediction made uh, back in September was that the new instruments would detect many longer chirps on a daily or even hourly basis but they've only ever discovered one tiny 20 millisecond chirp. Um, the chirp was detected only three days after Advanced LIGO came online and 13 years after searching with LIGO and Enhanced LIGO. And they made the announcement on the 100 year anniversary of Einstein's the relativity. No coincidence. Um, the scientific method demands that the result be repeatable, which it has not been done. Um, a single chirp is not enough to satisfy any scientific demand. These two black holes are supposedly uh, 1.3 billion light years away, while the range of the LIGO is only rated for 26 million light years. That's a problem. Um, so all of this was uh, uh, a pack of uh, idiots scrambling um, to actually produce results after using over a billion dollars of taxpayer money, by the way, to come up with something. And oh, by the way, let's announce it. Let's make the big announcement on the 100-year anniversary of Einstein publishing uh, his theory of relativity, which is still, by the way, a damn theory. Whereas uh, Tesla, you know, all the stuff illuminating my ugly face, all of this stuff coming from Tesla... Faraday, Steinmetz, Heaviside, James Clerk Maxwell. This is all reality. It's powering my camera. It's powering these lights. It's powering the charging device that powered this iPad. Charge this iPad up. Yeah. These guys produce nothing. And they invent crap to keep their funding going. That's not a conspiracy theory. It's a damn fact. I hate conspiracy theories. Anybody that thinks that I have any love for conspiracy theories is a nut job themselves. No love for conspiracy theories at all. What do you think? These are the facts. Check out the links below. There's a lot of videos because uh, there's a lot of scientists that are calling BS on this uh, discovery of the gravitational waves. I mean, some real, real scientists that are calling flat out BS on this, including Stephen Carruthers and others, people that, uh, you know, are, are, you know, they can't, they're beyond reproach. Well, nobody's beyond reproach, but, uh, you know, this is nonsense. You know, hey, we've been uh, sucking at the government teat uh, at the uh, at the expense of over a billion dollars. We have to produce something, or our funding will be caught, cut. Right now, we're at the 14-year mark, and we haven't found jack crap. So let's let's find something, and uh, let's find it on the anniversary of Einstein's uh, publishing his paper. Yeah. You see, anybody with a brain, and and most people don't have brains. Most people just don't would see through this BS. Um, the people that actually attacked the video that I made yesterday, and I got asked by a lot of people, said, you got to be attacking this nonsense because this is crap. And that's exactly what I did. Um, but all these people that were hurling all these, you're a dirty so-and-so, you're a fat schmuck, and you're an that doesn't That doesn't contribute anything to a discussion. It doesn't contribute anything. I pointed out why it was wrong. I gave you the logic and reasoning for why it's wrong. It's very simplex. Classical electromagnetic theory. And everything in the universe is electrical, ultimately. Everything is one field modality. It's dielectric, and then the release of that inertia is magnetism. But everything is electrical. I mean, uh, EM phase shift retardation, electromagnetic retardation, and uh, phase shift is irrefutable. I mean, this forms the basis of everything we understand, and it actually completely replaces, you know, the false and erroneous beliefs of Einstein. The guy was, a, as Tesla called Einstein, a fuzzy-haired crackpot. And Tesla actually said a lot of other stuff about uh, Einstein. And uh, you can either believe the guy that invented 100% of the modern electrical world or the guy that invented nothing and had a damn theory. That, by the way, is still a damn theory 100 years later. 
That's right. That's exactly right.